Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shadow Wraith, and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be going over some competitive lists that have actually won tournaments. Um, you can see on my screen right now what I'm looking at, the Warhammer community page, and they've released a lovely little article uh, about the winning armies of the Grand Tournament 2020, and this was in March. And I think there's four lists, and I thought I'd just go over them, so A, you guys can see what other people are running, and B, kind of give my thoughts on them. So, without further ado, we'll jump straight in. So, I mean, if you've never been to Warhammer World up in Nottingham, it's definitely worth going to. Um, I mean, even if you travel, it's, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I mean, look at that. It's, it's a massive hall, and then you've got, like, Bugman's Brewery, so you can get food drinks anything it's just it's fantastic and obviously it's warhammer world you've got the tables anyway so first we've got i think this is jasmine yeah some yeah, jasmine brought minister tirith and the white council with her and it tells you quite here what you need boromir captain of the white tower a fantastic pick straight away warden of gondor Awesome, that is really good. So, um, is that Hurin? I think, yeah, Hurin, and then Gladril and Celeborn. Awesome, awesome, Gladril, especially amazing spellcaster. Uh, Gondor commanders, uh, Warriors of Minas Tirith, Rangers, Knights, and Guard of the Fountain Court. Okay, that's a very good selection. I can see they've gone for a nice all round list. Now, what have they actually got? Uh, Boromir, Captain of the White Tower, with horse, lance, and shield. Okay, so we've got BT up Boromir. Boromir, that's going to be a beat stick. Charging him with his horse, and doing some damage with his six might, and all that good stuff. Uh, Warriors and Minas Tith with shield, so, what's that? Five of? Yeah. Um, two with spear and shield. And then, spear, shield, and banner. Okay, so... Right, that's that's fine. And then Ranger of Gondor with Spear, five of, okay. And one Guard of the Fountain Court with Shield. And a Minish Tirith Knight with Shield. And that's the first Warband for Boromir, who will be the leader, I'm guessing. Um, Yeah, that's not a bad Warband. Not bad at all. See, first straight away, I mean, I don't know. I guess, I mean, these are all 700 point lists, so you do with what you want. I mean, I always love Boromir with his banner, rather than spending 25 points on a random dude to have a banner. Because if you drop the guy with a banner, so 34, you're paying 6 extra points for Boromir to have a 6 inch banner with plus 1 fight value. Yeah, so I mean, I would take that, I'm sure you can save, uh, shave off 6 points somewhere, is this bang on? Yeah, bang on 700, so I mean 6 points, I just drop a Minas Tirith, some, you know, a warrior or something. Hey ho, who knows? So that's not bad. And then we've got Hurin the Tool. Yep, Warden of the Keys with Horse. So it is Hurin. 90 points. Hurin is absolutely bonkers. He's got three might. He's got a master forged hand and a half sword. Um, so he's burly. He's got strike. He's yeah, he's an all-round powerhouse. He's brilliant. And on top of that, if your leader dies, Boromir, they still don't get victory points as long as Hurin is alive. So that's denying them, you know, sometimes three victory points, two victory points, things like that. And they can win you games. And obviously it's done well because his army is on this lovely little report. Now, he's got six warriors ministerial for shield. See, I mean, hmm, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, one warrior with spear and shield, five rangers with spears. And two Guard of the Fountain Court with shields. And then Knight of Minas Tirith with shield. Okay, 14 points. Um, that's that's alright. Okay, he's got a mix. He's got cavalry with other warbands, which I like. Because, I mean, it's always good to have cavalry mixed in. Because you never know when you want to deny someone else's cavalry bonus. Even chucking your cavalry to charge a hero, that has charged something you don't want. For the um, enemy hero to get the cav bonus is perfect. And then we've got, got Galadriel, Lady of Light. Right, 130 points. I swear it said he had Celeborn. Did I miss him? No. And she's obviously on her own. 
Now I can see straight away why she's got uh, why um, Gladwell's in here uh, because well Angmar are quite up there on the like a lot of people like Angmar because they're really strong so shades and things like that but she's got banishment so I mean shades don't have infinite will like wraiths like you can banish a wraith as well if you get lucky roll a six and they just don't happy days you kill the wraith straight out because it just does one one wound flat one wound don't no rolling they are they just take a wound and they've only got one wound shades are the same so you can just get rid of a shade so happy days and decent amount of models yeah and 700 points now straight away like i said i'd probably drop one guy because i can see what they're going for here they're going for a fight what fight four shield wall so you've got spear supports behind the um warriors with sword and board um but the thing is if you drop one guy you can keep the rest so they're fight four you can have a fight five in sections shield wall you know i mean even if you drop one of the um let's say i don't know warriors of minister with spear and shield drop him ah oh, that's quite a few points nine points still you'll be under point it doesn't matter because you've got a better banner and then some sections of the board you will have fights uh fight five shield wall and you can still maintain your fight four shield wall as well in the other parts that's just my and then you've got six inch banner on top of that you know so you drop two models and you get six inch banner which is twice as effective literally than a three inch banner on a random dude sure okay that's just my take on it but they did well so um and what's it say i mean pause the video if you want to read that i'm just doing my take on it i mean it, yeah well it literally says fight value but all the rangers and guard of the fountain court have uh fight four so yep he's going for the fight four or sorry she's going for the fight four shield wall which is good which is really good and a defense seven when they're in shield wall which is nuts to get through big lad love him and then galadriel so yeah she's just absolutely amazing perfect ally Fortify Spirit on Boromir to make it impossible to shut him down with shooting or magic. Oh yeah, that's that's good. And Ring Rays and Shades, there we go. So let me see. Uh, banishment, there we go. Says it literally there. Oh, yeah, Banishment. So, yep, that's fine. Um, Cool. Now, the next one we've got is Moria. Now, Moria, who is running Moria? What's his name? Or her? Does it say... Uh, I don't think it does. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna bother too much. Right. Okay, this is quite funny. I've just skimmed this, and it it literally one of my videos. I mentioned this combo. So you've got the enraged beast magical power, and you throw an enraged spider at Boromir, along with a bat swarm to half his fight value, and it it will mess him up. Absolutely mess him up. That's yeah. That's a really good combo. That's exactly what I'd do with Moria. So he's got Durbas, the Goblin King of Moria. 70 points, really cheap. Derbers is quite nice. He's um, he, he gives people, you roll a dice on a 4 plus or something, they get plus 1 fight value. So for goblins, that's not bad. They're like fight 2 or something, absolutely trash. Yeah, I mean, if I can find it really quick, I will just... No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, and then we've got uh, Moro Goblin. What are they? We, uh, so four Moro Goblins with shields. That's not bad. That's not bad. So let me just see Derbas. Um, no, no. I was thinking of the other one. Uh, Groblog, that's it. That's who I was thinking of. Okay, no, Derbas is solid. He's got Strike. He's Fight 4. For a Goblin is good. Strength 4, Defense 6. 2 Attacks, 2 Wounds, Courage 4. 3 Might, 2 Will, 2 Fate. Solid. Cave Dweller. And he's got a 12-inch um, Standfast. Yeah, solid choice. Solid choice. Um, is it... Did he say Derbas? Ah... Uh, <laughs> Drew's Hag, that's it. Drew's Hag, the beast caller. Yeah, Drew's Hag is amazing. And I'm pretty sure he can take, like, spiders. Yeah, he can take spiders into his warband, so, and they don't count as allies. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's not bad. We've got four sword and board. We've got five with shield and spear. And Moria Goblin Prowlers. Prowlers are absolutely fantastic. I love Prowlers. I mean, Prowlers... Um, I'm just going to double check this. Prowlers are the ones that get backstabber, I believe, if they trap. So it basically it's plus one to wound if you trap someone. I will double check. Yes, that is true. So they're fight three, which isn't great. Um, but if you trap someone, you're plus one fight. So 
but it can be fight four. Their strength three, defense four, uh, one attack, one wound, courage two. And they've got a two handed axe and a throne dagger. So they're minus one to their hits, which isn't great, but they've got backstabber. So you're plus two if you trap someone. That is bonkers. Really good combo. He's only brought three of them in this warband, but I can see why. And then a bat swarm. Bat swarms, obviously, you half anyone in combat with a bat swarm, halves their fight value, rounding down. So, so good for killing heroes. And then you've got Groblog. He has got Groblog. Yeah, I thought he would. Everyone brings Groblog. So he's a guy that pluses one to your fight value if you roll like a four plus or something. Um, four sword and board. Four with spear. And three more goblin prowlers. Okay, he likes his prowlers. Perfect. And then there he is. Druzag the Beast Caller. 90 points. You've got four mono goblins with sword and board. Four with spears. Two giant spiders. And two bat swarms. Okay. And obviously we're going for an absolute swarm list here. To overwhelm like their opponent. And for board control I can see as well. Which, I mean you've got enough bodies you can take everything. It's got a Black Shield Shaman. I love the Black Shield Shaman. Again, has been featured in my video. It's got the um, Shatter special rule. So the Shatter, basically, you pick a magical item. Well, not magical, just any item. Um, they're holding a piece of war gear. So it can be a magical. So could, like uh, Arandal, the um, Flame of the West, Aragorn Sword. Pick that. Cast it. It's only cast on a 3+. plus. If he doesn't resist it, it's gone. Aragorn's now unarmed. Insane. Do it to uh, Baramir's, Bar Baramir's, sorry, Boromir's banner, Banamir's. <laughs> Perfect. That is absolutely nuts. Such a good hero. I mean, it only comes with three will, so you only got really three shots with it. And one might, but I'd do that every turn. And if they're not, like, if it, if it doesn't go through, they're still, like, wasting their will on it, and you can use it for other things. So. And then we got two sword and board goblins, three with shield, and one more prowler. That's really solid. That's a solid list. I like that. And then we've got a Moro Goblin Shaman. Two Warriors with Shields. Two Warriors with Spears and Shields. And another Prowler. Bringing us to the sum total of 700 points. Uh, 53 models are oh, just like Moro should be played. That is fantastic. And I do believe this list did beat the Gondor. I think it did. It did say something. Best way to count a list is bring plenty of models. Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know if it beat Gondor. But it definitely would have given it run for his money. That is awesome, really solid list. Like I've got no, I've got no dramas with that. That's a top list. I, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I love spiders, so I'd probably put more spiders in it. But like, you don't have to. You've got prowlers and stuff. There, seven points, <laughs> nuts. And then we've got assault up, up on Helm's Deep. So this is a legendary legion from Rohan in War. Um, I've never played with it or against it, so uh, but it sounds quite good. So this is what you need: fighting Urukai, uh, Urukai warriors, crossbowmen, Urukai berserkers, Urukai siege troops, and the um, siege assault ballista. Now this is part of the legendary legion. Two of these, because um, yeah, this is what the legendary legion does. It lets you re-roll to hit and re-roll scatter. I want to say, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Now. We've got, for our first one, we've just got Captain with Shield, Urukai Demolition Team, and Fire <laughs> Flaming Brands. Uh, the Demolition Team is absolutely devastating. This Legendary Legion it is so good. It just annihilates. If you detonate in the right place, and I think it's something... I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. We'll go through the list first. Eight Urukai Warriors with Pikes. Yep, cool. Uh, three with Crossbow. Crossbow. Urukai Crossbows are so good. Probably one of the best shooting weapons in the game. Maybe. Just my opinion. I just hate them. They kill stuff. They're strength four. But you can't move and shoot. That's my only drama with them. Um, which is fine. <laughs> but still. Urukai Warriors with Shield, Pike and Banner. So he's got all the tools. Jesus. And then Urukai Berserkers. Two of them. And he's got one Urukai Warrior with Shield. Not a bad little warband. Urukai Captain with Shield. Okay, he likes his captains. Um, Pike, nine of them. Uh, Urukai Warriors with crossbows. So, yeah, four of them. One Urukai Berserker. And two Sword and Board Warriors. And then he's got a Ballista. Awesome. And then he's got a Ballista. 65 points for what he can do. It's insane. And let's see what it actually says. So he's got 42 models. Not bad. 
700 points bang cool this army list is in its element when it's using the ballista okay yeah so you just wait if you've got scenarios where you can literally sit back and just keep shooting at them and wait make them come to you it's perfect and i mean you've got then you've got yeah the fight for strength for urukai to beat up anyone that does get in combat and the legend yeah allows you to re-roll hit and scatter dice um with your ballista that's perfect so you can literally try and target down heroes man yeah that's awesome um yeah that's really good that's really good it's worth taking it the legion just for that because i don't like siege weapons because of the scatter rule i think it absolutely pans um I mean, it balances the game, sure, but it's like, ugh, I can't I can't spend 75 points on something that will probably just kill, like, an orca turn. And uh, here we go, demolition team. <laughs> Charge. What makes these so impactful is that your opponent can do very little to stop them from exploding. If they move into combat first, simply position the charge next to where their leader or key hero is and then blow it up. Yeah, that's good. And it happens before four heroic actions and fights. Okay. That's horrible. Uh, the other tactic utilises great effect by Jasmine. So this is all Jasmine, is it? I don't know. It's, they're all solid lists. That's all I want to know. Um, get yourself into a winning position in the scenario and use Demolition Charge to blow up your own models to end a game. Okay, that's fantastic. So breaking yourself. So you're going to win. You just need to break. You don't care about losing those victory points. Done. Boom. And then it goes, what beats this force? Uh, Maelstrom of Battle can put a huge amount of pressure. Yeah, I can imagine. Surrounded the Ballista or Versa, I don't like Maelstrom of Baton. Battle that much. It can um, poor dice rolls can lose you the game. And then we got Lake Town. I'm guessing. Yeah, survivors of Lake Town. Bard the Bowman with horse and armor. Bard's all right. Um, his kids. So you can make him go nuts. Alfred the Counselor. Why not? He can chuck like Will about and might. Which is pretty good. I'm just going to get them up. I forgot to get the book out. Apologies. Oh, ignore that noise. That was um, definitely nothing nothing expensive. Don't worry about it. Um, Lake Town. Survivors of Lake Town. Where are you? Okay. So, let's see what they do. I mean, I've always preferred Garrison of Dale. Just because, I don't know, maybe it's just the look of Garrison of Dale I preferred. But that's just, that's just me. So, what does old Alfred so? Here we go. Alfred, where are you? Ah, he's part of Lake Town. Right, Alfred, basically, I mean, yeah, he you can you can spend his will to um Yeah. Okay, for each print of will he expands, nominate a single friendly Lake Town hero within six and roll a D6. For, on a two plus, they gain a point of might back. That's insane. And on a roll of one, however, the nominated Lake Town hero instead loses a point of might, and Alfred gains a point of might. So he gets stuck on a useless hero who's got no heroic abilities apart from the standard ones. Sure, that's really good. So you can kind of walk around and give like your Lake Town guard like five might or something. That's pretty good. Or, yeah, Bard. That's a good example. So I'm guessing he's sticking close to Bard and feeding Bard might to give him up to six. That's really solid. Uh, Lake Town Militar, absolute pants. I don't rate them. But yeah, he's got like six of each. So sword and board and spear. And then his next one is Gan of the Grey on horse. Awesome. Okay, Gan of the Grey is okay. Uh, Lake Town Militar with uh, shield. Six of, six of. That's not bad. Percy. Sure. Why not? Percy's alright. And 12 bowmen. Okay, that's good. That's... um. That's a decent amount of shots. And then he's got Hilda. I mean, Hilda's all right. I don't think she does anything too special, does she? I never really looked at Lake Town. Um, basically, they, oh my god, she's amazing. Okay, I stand corrected. Basically, if she charges, then during the fight phase, um, herself and Lake Town military within three inches of her gain plus one to wound if they charge that turn. So they got a crazy charge. Imagine they got lances, but they're... Yeah, it just... Lake Town Militia. Yeah, that's really good. That makes him a beast now. Um, And yeah, that's that's really good. So these are the look at the very best army lists from the Year's Grand Tournament and how to recre recreate them best for yourself. Okay, cool. Obviously, you can go online, Warhammer Community. It is right here. 
and you can search for it yourself if you want a closer look. Um, otherwise you can just pause my video, that's fine as well. But I just thought I'd go over these lists because I thought it would be interesting for you guys and girls, if there are girls out there listening, <laughs> um, to see what other people are playing. Because, I mean, it's quite a nice variety. It's not all, like... I mean, Angmar wasn't even on there, and that's what everyone keeps saying is the best. I think all armies can win. Well, to an exception, you know. You know, there's a few that can't really can't... Like, the Trolls can't win a 700-point game, unless you bring allies, I guess. But you still got you still got allies, so you can still win. And that's it, really. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you... Whoa!